my job. I had to call in at work. I had to go into a break room and shit. Call in random money around so I can call in and let people know what's really going on. Real people music in the building. Yeah, and you brought the sun out your light skin ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I always make it brighter. They call me. They call me the gold, the golden leopard. Uh -oh. uh, I'm here to say to shake up Wakanda. No. <laughs> uh, and you know what? And, and for everybody in the chat room, don't talk about that goddamn uh, uh, Black Panther. I ain't seen the bitch yet. <laughs> but you don't want me to give a spoiler word. Let me give you a spoiler word. Black Panther wins at the end. <laughs> See, I don't even know. Who, I don't even know who was who. I ain't even look at the highlights. I said I'll go watch it in the movie. Uh, no, you know? I, I said that because they already pr they already promote Black Panther in the next movie, so it's not like he ain't gonna win. They are already promoting the new Avengers movie with Black Panther. Oh yeah. So I mean, yeah. So yeah. But uh, what's up, bro? I'm glad to be here, man. I ain't gonna take up too much of everybody's time. I know it came in on the tail end, man. But I'm trying to see what, what's popping, everybody. You know what I'm saying? And then talking real greasy and stuff. Talking about they got to go get their consigliere areas and shit. I had to come in and let them know. Ooh, it, Keith had to call his war daddy too. I'm here. Oh I'm yeah. Up. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, shit. You you asking the wrong motherfucker was up. I'm at I'm at peace, I'm, baby. I'm, I'm at peace. I'm, 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 I'm standing on Crenshaw like Ice Cube, like we got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> You stupid. I didn't know what was going on. I just, I, I, my, my, my boy sent, sent up the, the Wu Tang uh, Newport News bad news signal, and I had to come yeah. through. Yeah, what was going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you, man. Yeah, man but it's, it's all good, man. We all, we all black men trying to do better, man. That's what I'm oh, saying, yeah, man. With, yeah. with, with, whatever it is, it ain't nothing like that. But it, it does make for good radio, though. I yeah, get it yeah. Way. I mean, ain't nothing, nothing could be no worse than the uh, Falcons and the Hawks, you know. So what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> they, got, they got them Knicks and the Giants. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you just talking tit for tat. <laughs> yeah, see, you, we, we, know your, we know your plight now. We know exactly how you feel. You know, at least what I can say, what all y'all gonna say, y'all got y'all some brain. We can uh, let no, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna mention the rings. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave no, the no, rings alone. You got to. You got yeah. to. That's the only argument y'all have. Because right now, all y'all suck just as bad as we do. <laughs> yeah, them, you, them seems suck just like our team suck. Yeah, you're right about that, man. I can't even mm -hmm. fake yeah, the fuck hey, right now. At least y'all got history, though. We we yeah. you know, we working on history though. So, but it's, it's all good. We gotta get that. I keep I keep telling people that like you know it, like my homeboy, my other homeboy, Smitty from New York. He's always like, oh, the Falcons lost, and it's the most embarrassing loss in, in Super Bowl history. I'm like, not really. It was a big choke, but I mean, shit. The, the Patriots went 18 and 0 in the right. Super Bowl. I think that's, right. that's more embarrassing than, than what we did. Uh, you know what and, we just lost. And, we lost a 21 point lead with a sure game in the pocket. All we had to do was hold the ball kick a field goal and we fucked up hey and we was a wild card we team that year we didn't we go back to back Super Bowls and get to the end of the, of the uh, uh, season get to the end zone and throw a goddamn interception like the Seahawks did so oh yeah you know yeah. yeah I mean yeah. hey all, we've all been hey. there but, uh, but since since we talking about Super Bowl didn't I see you that Super Bowl Sunday when this Sunday no the Super this Bowl one. Sunday Last year, last yeah. Super Bowl. Oh, hey, you know you're you, 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 Hold up, hold up. Let me tell everybody what went on. Hold on, I just want to go on record and say, your ass ain't seen me since then either, have you? No, I see you at the bowling alley. That was the first oh, that's time right, that's right, that's since that's the Super Bowl game. With, with uh, Teddy Riley and them, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, everybody, real people music was in there bringing me Hennessy. Tell me, yo, Vern, you need another one? That's when the Falcons were whooping that ass. Here, you're going to need this one, man, because I know you're here hating. You're here, here, take this Hennessy. Man, when the fourth quarter came and shit, I was like, damn, where my Hennessy at? I ain't had a Hennessy in about a minute now. <laughs> Yeah, you, you won't never get another him to you, motherfucker. That's for sure. And, 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 and that's the problem. And I tell everybody to this day, I don't care what nobody say, that we lost that Super Bowl because of Kesey. 
<laughs> he turned off the fucking Lady Gaga halftime show and started playing. Ain't no playing GA and fucking uh, straight from the deck and the oh yeah, it is. And oh yeah, every song on that, and, and turned the whole party. We was partying like we had one yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, and that like, was. You know, I looked up. We uh-huh. the two Patriots fans in the whole building got their the jerseys on. They dancing around. Your ass over there giggling and shit. <laughs> yeah. and I told you I'm never going to a football party at his house no more. That's my no more. I love her, but never again. I, I, it's just bad experiences over there. So I'm tell me, sir, the What's Super Bowl up? was here this year, right? So you mm-hmm. shoot. So if the Super Bowl here this year, what you gonna do? Is you gonna throw a party or you gonna tailgate? Or you going to the game? Which one you doing? Man, me and my wife did some shit this weekend. We did an Airbnb downtown, man. I'm thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about just getting an Airbnb and doing a, like a little set like right downtown. I don't want to be in the fucking pipe. I don't like crowds and all right, that. Right, right. You got to worry about the, the kid coming through with the AR-15 and shooting everybody. And so I don't want to be right. in there, But I want to be with people. That, that you know what I'm saying that that I love and, and having a good time having some drinks and kicking it and, and do that so I don't know I, I, I'm thinking about you know like I said I said that but I think about going to Keith's house again if he do something but he stays so far out man I want to like congregate in an area where we're going to be like downtown because you know after the Super Bowl it's going to be parties it's going to be you know what I'm saying depending on who win and then you know my goal is hopefully the Falcons will actually be there that would be even better that would be fitting way for us to get all of these naysayers off our back is for us to go back to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl in Atlanta in the new stadium you know what I'm saying it's, it's, but you know it's something, a possibility you know something real people you got one problem uh, go. you got one uh, problem uh, what's no, let, let, let me tell you the problem is Y'all play us. Y'all play us week thirteen, right? Here in Atlanta, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. That'll be the day we testing out the field to come back to the Super Bowl. Cause once we beat a motherfucker during the season, they're not going to the Super Bowl. All right? They're not going. So once we whoop your ass on on your home field, that means we coming back for the Super Bowl parade, and um, we gonna parade up and down that goddamn field. Whoever's the uh, AFC team, man. I hope it's New England again. So we can show everybody. I, I, I tell huh? you what, let, let, let's do this. Since you, since, since you and uh, uh, your boy Jung, Jungle Brother made made a statement today, let's 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 let that be the roundtable day. Yeah, that, that week, could be that week thirteen game. Let's go. Let's do the roundtable sometime before that, and then do a live show right. during that game. I'm 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 setting it. We got we got weeks to plan, months to plan this out. That let's do it. Me, you, the Jungle Brother. We gonna sit there and watch that game live, and and the winners take all. Uh, that's it. oh, that's I, I'm I'm down with that. I'm glad yeah, you thought about like, that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a wonderful plan. Yeah. And then let's put it let's put it this way. And then whoever lose, got got to host the Super Bowl party. So if the, if the Giants lose. Then y'all got to host a Super Bowl party. And if the, if the uh, Falcons lose, then me and Keith host a Super Bowl party. How about that? That's a bet. That's a bet. Go. I'm, I'm just throwing Keith on the plus, so I don't know if he's signed yeah. up on that. <laughs> but but yeah. that's my plan. I, I put that out there because, you know what I'm saying? We, we, I, I feel that, like you said, if we, can, if we whoop y'all, then hopefully we'll have a better chance of going to the Super Bowl. And just like you said, if, y- if y'all beat us, that's going to be y'all key to going to the Super Bowl. So either way, uh, let's yeah. go. Oh, okay, ain't no problem with that. That's on. We got Deacon Dallin here with his sorry ass motherfucking Ravens talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we also got Fel Pay in here talking about Eli's a thousand years old. Hey man, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Y'all better go ahead on and find a motherfucking life because y'all life ain't with the Giants and Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, got, you only got one line on your phone, though, man. What, what, what phone only got one line on your phone, man? What is, uh, that, that, that uh, well, you know what, uh, real people music. <laughs> I got, I got, a, I got a reliable phone system. I'm not gonna tell you mm-hmm. the name of the phone system, but it's reliable mm-hmm. because I don't never lose a call. And um, you can't lose a call. If you can't and, get the one at a time. It pops up all the time. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You, I'm, you, you know what? I only, I only can curse out one person at a time. All right? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I you know what I'm saying? I only, you know. People at a time. Oh, no. I, I do that in chat room. While you, <laughs> yeah, waiting your turn, while you waiting your turn to get on the phone, I can curse you out looking at you in the chat room. Oh, but then yeah, the person. Yeah, I'm, I'm the, ready. Yeah, the person on the phone will also get cussed out, too. Cussed out and hung up on. All right? Remember oh, that. No. Yeah, I, hold, I hold the trigger. 
you know, by a professional. And I will tell you that, my brother. You, you, you come a long way. You're a real professional, and I like what you're doing. I always support you guys, man. And, and even though we don't always see eye to eye, hey, you got to respect the man for standing on, on, on what he believes in and, and being willing to debate it with somebody else. And we come out, sometimes we're going to agree, sometimes we not. But, hey, at the end of the day, we, we, we all black and we all trying to do something better for our lives. So, shoot, I congratulate what you're doing, man, and going to continue to support it, man. Happy anniversary. Hey, I appreciate that coming from you, bro. Hey, but listen, man, you got to get back on the show. I got a Saturday show coming on from now on. Um, I don't know if I'll be on this Saturday, but um, peep it out. I even I even send you an alert, man, because uh, we want you in the chat room debating because you be having some good debate, man. You get a motherfucker pissed off. <laughs> I, I mean, I do. And, and, you know, sometimes I'm playing devil's advocate, but a lot of times, you know, people can't deal with it, just like what uh, Jungle Brother was saying. If people can't deal with it, yeah. it ain't the spot for them because it's like, it's just friendly debate, but people be taking uh-huh. it so seriously. It's like, yeah. I don't understand why they like why they even in here. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed, we're supposed to be able to do this and not, you know. I mean, if somebody goes all the way off the wall to get offensive or you know, something like that, right. but, I mean, it's just like yeah. it's just opinion, man. If I say, you know, something about Biggie, it shouldn't get to the point where kill that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, oh yeah, no man, ain't, ain't nobody gonna kill you. Ain't ain't nobody. No, they not. <laughs> they yeah. Know, but, yeah. but even just like I said, for us to all be, yeah. it's like that. That's the only way it's going to work. If everybody's right. opinion is going to be like, you could just say, "Well, that's a dumb motherfucker," but uh-huh. they entitled to their opinion. Just like uh, what's his name, Grego? Hey, yeah, that my boy. He got some off wall, off the wall opinions, though. <laughs> you know, right? You know, and some people do. Yeah, it, it just. It, it is what it is but man no I'm down man I be you know Saturdays is rough for me especially in the morning like keeping right. it so early in the morning I'm a late night Friday night basketball watcher so right. I don't be up in it but you know you send me the alert man I'm gonna jump in when I can okay alright now that I know now that I know I'm welcome yeah, definitely that. It, it mine's is in the uh, in the, um, like afternoon towards the evening time, but oh, we'll we'll, we'll yeah, do that, man. Your, your boy yeah. trying to your boy trying to call in, man. So we got to get him on the line and whatnot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, let, let let him get in there, man. Let let, let him go uh, get in so he can confirm that, that our bet. Okay, man. <laughs> All right, man. All right, bro. I'm gonna holler All right. Peace. Come on, Casey. Hurry up, man, so we can end this shit, man. So I can go back to work. I intend to do no three hours. But being that we was having a good time reminiscing and we talking some new real shit, call back, Keezy. Where you at? Keezy probably got his feelings hurt and shit because ain't nobody pick up. He know Keezy no one got one line and whatnot. He probably he probably snuck out into the restroom too to make a call because it sounded like G was in there fucking with somebody, man, all that moving around and shit, unless he was doing it with the boxes. <laughs> Yeah, unless he was doing it with the boxes, man. But uh, <laughs> that's funny, man. But uh, I had a great time today, definitely, man. And uh, we gonna uh, end this show up with a, a phone call to the uh, to the IT man that's doing part time work these days and whatnot, and see what's going on with him. You know, he, he snuck out the office. I know that's what he did. He snuck right out the office. Catch his ass trying to walk back in the office. Uh, <laughs> he said, he trying to not get fired like Craig, huh? I hear you, son. Yeah. Now, see, he only want to answer the phone now. He must have snuck out the office. Yeah, he snuck out the office. Can see if you got a little time, man? Uh, holler at me, man. You know, but if you don't, man, in 10 minutes, I'm about to put this thing to rest, man. And, uh, you know, call it a day, call it a night. But um, to everybody out there that started out with us, man, happy anniversary. Uh, We're going to move on. You know, year four should be even greater. TDSS four is coming along, too, you know. Yeah, call it. What's your name? Where you calling for? What you want to talk about? What's up, guys? Man? man, checking in with the key seat, yo. What's going on, key seat? What it, what it be? What it hey, be? Man. What it be? I know you got to go, man, so I'm bringing a benediction to you. Okay, that's what's up. Bring that benediction, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Congratulations on that three years. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the sentiment of everybody today is, you know what I'm saying, all of us done our things to really put out awesome products. 
You know what I'm saying? Regardless of whatever the topic is, the philosophies are, you got to commend each and everybody for being able to, you know, get through and do this thing. On our end as an X-Squad, we've been able to expand, bringing a lot of shows, 